My friends, what is going on? Uh, I'm gonna make this uh, video super short. I still feel like death with COVID. Uh, man, God bless you guys. You got COVID going on in your house or anything like that. That fatigue is kicking my butt. But uh, anyway, I wanted to do a real quick update um, just to let everybody know, you know, number one, everything's gonna be okay. Uh, and number two, just kind of what I'm seeing. Uh, first things first, I was gonna make a longer video uh, based off of what I was seeing from like some fib levels and from a Wyckoff perspective um, But I actually I normally don't watch like Dave or Rico's or anybody else's videos before I make my videos Just because I don't want any type of like confirmation bias going on or anything along those lines But um, both of Dave's videos this evening were fantastic and, and pretty much what I was gonna do there So that's awesome because it allows me to make an even shorter video here The main thing I want to talk about in my video is going to be the EMAs the exponential moving averages for AMC we're probably gonna hear a lot about um, what's called the death cross which the death cross is going to be um, where the 50 EMA crosses over the long-term one of the 200 so that's gonna be where the orange line is, is crossing over this uh, blue line right here um, and I just want to remind everybody that you know the number one goal of the composite man is to shake out as many weak hands and retail hands as possible and I also believe that they're setting up a situation of, oh my gosh, the stock has been tanking. We're about to have the death cross. It's about to tank even more. And that's going to be able to shake out a whole lot of people. And so my personal opinion is I think this move has already been priced in. Um, it's not that we can't go lower even down to, I believe in Dave's video, like he said, like he makes a great case for like the 19 uh, dollar range, especially if we get a spring right here, if we're in accumulation inside of another accumulation and we get a spring, um, if we go down to like that, that 19 range, um, if we drop, the main thing we want to see guys is we want to see that any drops that we have from here on out are going to be very low volume drops. So if we go down to like 1950, but the volume is just nothing, you know, it's one of those 20, 25 million dollar uh, uh, shares traded days, um, then that's, that's honestly well, short term, that's not good on the price. Um, that's going to lead me to believe we're going to see some very bullish moves coming. But just like I've been saying, um, I'm a believer that the that the, the bottom um, has already come in. Not that we can't trace lower, uh, but I, I think overall we're going to look back and be like, yes, this area is where the bottom was in. So um, I think this move has already been priced in. Um, you know, now's a perfect time. You know, there's maximum fear involved with AMC. So now would be a perfect time. Um, to start moving towards, you know, the phase C's and the phase D's and the markup phases because um, you're definitely going to see, you know, people seeing these death crosses and thinking, oh, okay, I'll buy back in when we fill the gap at 17 or anything like that. And then, boom, you get hit, you know, with a big old markup. Uh, trend lines that I'm going to be looking at is, once again, from the all-time high we talked about, um, that reverse head and shoulders that unfortunately did not play out, I believe, is invalidated now. Um, now we're looking kind of at the uh, double bottom range. Definitely looking for this double bottom to start, you know, making this bounce up. You know, right now we're going to need to start, you know, we want to see a move back over 30 or move up towards this trend line at, at 30, you know, relatively quickly. Uh, first big move, in my opinion, would be capturing the 20 day um, EMA, which is going to be right around the uh, $26 uh, region right now. Uh, but once again, so long as we can maintain you know, higher lows, um, like I've always said, the, the higher lows that we make and, and we keep making lower highs, once again, everything is gonna be getting compressed. And, you know, even though we've had those moments where they've been compressed and we've been kicked down before, it only takes one to get kicked up to for all of us to have a real good day, um, if you know what I'm saying there. So um, the two big trend lines I'm gonna be watching um, is gonna be from the bottom of the big June run where it acted as resistance. Then we have the big June run, and it's acting as support right now. Um, and then also, too, from, from the bottom area. So we have uh, one, um, two, three major touch points right here. Um, and that would, be, that would be the one I'd be looking to hold up for if we do go for the gap fill, which, once again, is, is not likely in my opinion. It's still my most least likely scenario. All my most likely scenarios are AMC moving up, uh, from from here on out um, so like I said just uh, no stress keep the faith um, as soon as I'm you know feeling 
less fatigued and more energized. I'll be back to more videos and tweeting more. Uh, but until then, uh, once again, follow me on Twitter. If you don't already, call an underscore Gladman. Um, that's where I post a lot of my ideas. And I'll be uh, keeping in touch with you guys there. Uh, but other than that, uh, like I said, right now, you know, just we are we are in a holding pattern until we either you know break, start breaking above this 30 range or if if we start breaking below and then we'll kind of analyze what's going on at, at that point in time but either way not leaving i think we're going to have a great year this year um like i said just keep the faith all is good i'll see you on the flip side all right you guys stay safe